All right, lovely people. Here we go. I'm Gabby Faulkner. I'm so nervous. Thank you, Tiago. I've never actually been on a first date with a stranger. I guess I'm What? Wow, this is going to be extra interesting. Also, she's quite cute. I like her smile. Like, at my core, like a hopeless romantic. I just graduated college. I've only ever had two boyfriends, and they were both like my best friends beforehand. So I figured, why not like speed run? <laughs> Why were you late to our first date? Did she say her age? She looks very young. Like 21 maybe? She says she just finished college, right? Why don't you join for this then? Because this is in the US. I mean in Canada. And I cannot go to you, the US right now, my friend. Immigration, immigration issues. You don't have to worry about that. Bro, what would I do on a first date in this situation? Maybe... See, my first instinct is showing this person some show that I like. But then it would have to be like a short episode. Because you gotta be able to talk to that person, right? And if I put like an actual movie, the movie is gonna be longer than an hour. Oh, I don't... I could play video games too. Play and talk at the same time. It's hard, but... Uh, come at the 20, 23rd hour. I mean, invite her to actually sleep with me. Well, but I don't know if you can choose when you go, Tiago. You sneaky bastard. You have like one hour. With me being... Uh, Swelldefied? One of the most unsocial countries in the world. I need more than an hour. <laughs> I feel you, ZK. I feel you. I can imagine a first day now. I've been dating my husband since I was 18. Damn. You are one of the lucky ones, Julia. You found your person early in life. I am jealous of you. I am dreading going on first date anytime soon. It's just uh, a lot of energy. Anyway, let's go back to the video. This is in Seattle. This is going to be your home for the next 24 hours. <laughs> Are you ready for your first date? Bring him in. All right, just to get a feel for the space. Yeah. 8 a.m. Hi, nice to meet you. you. I'm Zared. Yes. Gabby, nice Hi, Gabby. to meet you. Hey. I brought. ZK, is that you? Something for the. ZK, is that I you? A coffee setup. I a coffee like setup. I don't typically drink coffee or caffeine. Right. But like, hey, I gotta be up for 24 hours, right? <laughs> I haven't gone on many first dates. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, that's like a red flag for them. I... Mm. Mm. First dates can be fun, but it's definitely a bit of a walk on ice. You either is light or you sink. Or it's a statement to something happens. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to think about first dates for now, man. Blah, 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 blah. Ha, <laughs> Don't be so insulted. No, 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 no. He kind of reminds me of you, but he has a mustache and he, he looks a little bit uh, chubbier than you. Not in a bad way. He's, he looks like a good looking guy. But I've seen like you and you don't look like that chubby. I know you work out. I know you take care of yourself. I've never been on a first date before with a stranger. Like, period. Oh. <laughs> I was telling my boss, I was like, hey, I'm going to be on like, a dating thing. Yeah. He was like, do an Elvis impression. Uh, you know, you can't say that. Ah, <laughs> 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 I am so poor. Ich bin Phoenix. What is it, baby? I'm <laughs> pregnant. Oh. I'm gonna be a daddy. Just <laughs> <laughs> to a long day ahead. Yes. Oh my God. How was that Elvis? That Elvis impression. I don't know. I don't know. Not very convincing, but he tried his best. That's really nasty? good. That's, no, good? that's really good. <laughs> well, thank you. Did you feel any romantic chemistry? I, at this juncture, got more friend vibes. Nice meeting you, Gabby. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Your next date is running a little late. It happens. Hopefully he wasn't, like, late. Late on a first date. <laughs> Who would do that? 
Who would be late on a first date? I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, it'd be nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> how, how long? How long? Hello. 16 minutes. Yeah, it'd be nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> I apologize for being late to our tour date. Soccer coach. Yeah. I, yeah, that's on me. But you cooked me such a beautiful meal. Yeah, well, I mean, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably the most important date of the day. Yeah. Oh, that was. Do you have a celebrity crush? A couple of times. That was good. That was good. So basic. I, I bet they would be your first two Ryan? guesses. One is Orion. Who do you think my celebrity crush is? Everyone's was Selena Gomez for a time. Hit the nail on the head. Wait, actually? Not now, but yeah. Okay, when I was yeah, in like no. middle school. I, yeah, because it was everyone. Selena Gomez is beautiful, but not my not That's my type. Oh, okay. Uh, great idea, mediocre execution. You're talking about this idea, Tiago? The date, the 24 people in one in 20 in, in, in 24 hours is that what you're talking about i've really only been in one serious relationship we broke up in 2019 i don't want to go through a breakup again and i don't want to put someone else through a breakup again it is so shitty on both sides of it i could tell i liked him because i was nervous about like how my situation was perceived i had two serious relationships and i've been on both sides i have to say though i think being the breakupper is worse I would also agree with that. I was the one that broke up with her. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she probably moved on a little quicker yeah. than I did. What'd she do? Oof. Bro, you rather break up with someone or be broken up? What would you prefer? It sucks either way, you know? It's not fun. Where's my light out? Why are you out? Excuse me. Oh my god, the battery is dead. I need the lights. I need the lights. Because otherwise it messes with the setup of my camera and it looks even worse. So I need the lights to be working properly. Uh, where was I? Uh, the 8 a.m. coffee idea. Why, why, why was poorly executed, Tiago? He, he, tried, he, he brought his coffee machine. He tried to talk to her. He made an Elvis impression. What was bad about it? I don't know. It depends on, I guess. Depends on breaking up or being broke up. I don't know, man. To me, most of my relationships, I was the one breaking up. Uh, and and sometimes I wish I wasn't. But the two times that... The two... Well, there were two times that they broke up with me that I was like, oh, this actually hurts. You know, Julia said effort is sexy. Julia, I I agree with you one billion percent. Like if I could, like if I could, like shake your hand right now, like very hard, like yes, I agree with you so much. When you are with someone and they putting as much effort as you on whatever activity you're doing together, is the sexiest thing ever. Honestly, honestly, you know. And he tried. He brought his coffee machine, the first guy. The second guy is late. Uh, maybe for her, he's more good looking. Maybe not. You know, they have some similarities. I don't know. I knew well as a heartbreaker, in a way. Nah, he was not using the best expressions. His first phrase was on point. A possible? What was his first phrase? Damn, you remember that? Ain't a red flag in the first phrase? Sheesh! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, How did she break your heart? Uh, she backed into my car. <laughs> Do I wow. look like someone you would date? Uh, yeah. Back in like middle school, high school, I had a lot of crushes on blonde girls. <laughs> Do you have a type? You're very much my type. That's oh, <laughs> see, see, <laughs> see. Next date is here. He's early. Okay. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> the way that he throws shade, he's early, by the way. <laughs> that is, you know, that is so attractive. In a Send man. him home. <laughs> Send him home. 
send him home. No one bring him in. Let's just but I feel like this home. guy, he's good looking and he knows he's good looking. Afraid, like, I would just get friend vibes from all of them. But right away, I was like, he's cute. Ah, uh, ah. Rat a tat, if you will. Yeah, I really liked it. Look at that smile, man. She really liked him. Wow. I'm Gabby. Hey, I'm Omar. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, how are you? She changed. Good. Nice. So, nervous, obviously. Yeah, so yeah he's I very nervous. Yoga. What are you looking for, Omar? Um. <laughs> Um, <laughs> bro, this is like me. I would be the same. Some cool, like, grimy punk I would be the same yeah. doing yoga. What do you mosh with me? I, a mosh pit sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> Are you a Gemini? I'm a Leo. A Leo? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So that's, that's I'm always like super attracted to Leos for some reason. Like, it's just something I've noticed. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute, uh, though. Well, it was great meeting you. <laughs> oh man, that awkward silence right there. Are you attracted to her? Yes. Thank you. Well, nice to meet you. Oh, oh. That is the part that I think would be so hard for me to just have to like, you know, in a way tell people I'm not attracted to them. That would be hard, man. This guy looks a bit awkward. I don't. I don't know. I get a weird vibe from him. I think he's just very nervous. He doesn't seem like a weird guy, but he's very nervous. I don't know. I don't think conversation was flowing as naturally. Surprise! So I, I do parkour. Parkour! I want to like move and I want to like do parkour. Parkour coach. Oh, there's giant blocks back here. What are these? Oh, that's not messy. Over the table. <laughs> you guys' office is awesome. There's like 8,000 different ways we can get over this. Okay. Over the vet. See, parkour is fun. <laughs> you need to get somewhere. I just. Julia said that nervousness can be so cute, though. I think it can, but I don't think it was this guy's. Uh, the, the previous guy, not this one. The previous guy's. Uh, it wasn't working on his favor, you know? It, unfortunately, it wasn't working on this. I think it can be especially if you are good looking and people are like really into you and they see that you, even though you are good looking, were a little bit nervous. But uh, I feel like that guy was way too nervous, maybe, you know. Um, I haven't been a first date in a while, but when I'm on a first date, even though I'm nervous, I try to be as confident as I can because I feel like confidence comes across as more attractive than being nervous i think but if they ask are you nervous i will say i am nervous and if they say like you don't look like you're nervous i just say i'm good at pretending <laughs> uh, this guy has a golden retriever energy this one right just literally jumping yo awesome welcome in how are you doing my friend you know He can jump really far. Yeah, nice. Oh, she did it nice. I've had a fantastic time so far. Yay! Really nice. okay, I'm just oh. We're at time. Arms crossed, but she's yeah, she's all crossed. I don't think she's uh, she's into him. Dang, I shouldn't spend so much time on parkour. <laughs> One, two, and pop. Okay. One, two, and pop. Okay, isn't this guy a bit overdressed for a first date? Isn't isn't that a bit too much? I feel like that is a like a meeting, you know, going to work meeting kind of outfit. He he looks great. It just seems a little bit overdressed. Uh, but -da, but -da, ZK say the nervous guy acted like a teenager having a crush for the first time. Exactly, and I feel that for a more mature audience, that might not be what you're looking for. He's very overdressed for a first date. That's one hour long. He's going to feature some social exp I mean, yeah, man. And he's dancing. You know, good for him that he's dancing, but come on, man. Pop. Now one, two, and pop. I'm going to throw you. Now come back. Now one, two, and pop. Dab me up real quick. You got to dab up after that one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite food? 
I make a pretty good guac. It's all in the lime for me. Well, it's, I know good guac. The white girl with the guac. Okay, okay. So you said you're gonna go on a bunch of dates. I get that. And you've never been on a first date. You said. Yeah, not with anyone I hadn't like already been friends with before. So I'm not sure if that even counts, really. Well, Gabby, I'm not your friend, but would you like to go on a? How 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 do you feel about this guy? How do you feel? He seems he he seems like confident, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How do you guys feel about this guy? Maybe he thought if he, uh, if I don't get rid of her, maybe some viewer will like my charm too. I mean, you're exposing yourself, right? He's doing more than a lot of people, even though he was very nervous. A lot of people wouldn't have the guts to go to the show. Uh, his way to into her, his eyes speaks of hungry wolf. Intense is there, eh? Yeah, he's he's going for it, man. A date with me? <laughs> Wait, it's happening right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get another one. Just okay. <laughs> Yeah, I used to eat raw onion, like an apple. <laughs> Gabby, 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 Gabby. <laughs> hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm good. I like the guacamole. You passed my test. Thank you. I mean, if you want to go for a second date, I would love to get to know you a little more. Yay. That's not fair. <laughs> so great. All right. So great meeting yeah, cheers. you. Cheers. Yeah, great to meet you. If she's interested in going on a second date, you'll find out at 8 a.m. Yeah. We'll find, we'll find out in the DMs or not. <laughs> I don't think we were a good match, per se. I was trying to, like, cater towards his energy. To you, is he more like the hookup kind of guy? Yeah, and I'm not a big hookup girl. This is good. See, see, the guy was that was that was the opposite of the first guy. He was too intense for her. Uh, pa, 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 pa. You want to put off some? <laughs> she is very cute, ZK. Uh, ZK, no, awesome. She is very, very good. I really like her smile. And it's helping me with my, you know, desire to like in dating make sure like I just make the guy feel good about himself. Like it's nice to like have that. Like I'm allowed to have preferences. If we were to end right now and say who do you want to go on a second date with? Would you have an answer? The coach, yeah, yeah, the coach, yeah, we know, we know. Hello, nice to you. This guy is cheating the system. He brought his dog with him. This is not fair. Thank not fair. You. Oh. <laughs> you got so excited. I'm Gabby. I, I, I will oh, shake your hand. You I got too. slobbered. Oh, no, he's, he's friendly. What did he? Oh, I shouldn't sit down. <laughs> so what do you do for work? <laughs> Yeah. Do you know you're on camera? Is that why you're doing this? I think, I think he does. Oh, he almost pulled my shirt down. Let me make sure I don't have a... Oh, she changed again. I just realized. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. You do, actually. Okay. Should I get a tissue? Oh, oh really? Do you? Oh, Kiddo. No. What happened? I all of how his dating been for you around Seattle. Uh, I haven't dated since I got divorced last year. This guy is good looking. He has a very nice... Why is everybody overdressed? Is people going to work after this? Um, if you don't mind me asking, I don't want to get too personal, but... uh. It was initiated by me just because mm -hmm. I found out, you know, some nice jawline, nice eyes, nice skin, cool haircut, nerdy vibes. I like this guy. The guy's guy looking, it's looking good. Bad deeds were being done by her. Um, I'm sorry. Would you ever get married again? Absolutely. I'm not looking for anything short term. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Yeah. I don't know. Such a serial monogamous, I guess. How do we get from cellular automata, like single cell organisms, mm -hmm. to like us complicated beings? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, ba -da -da -ba -da -da. I rather they the dog awesome say, ZK say the dog trick backfire a little bit, a little bit. When you got a speed date at 10 a.m., but gotta be in the office at 11. Bro, bring it like another sets of clothes. Come on, man, put it in a backpack or something. Also, he has his dog with him. He's gonna take his dog to the office? Yeah, we are more technological. Very cute dog, by the way. Very cute dog. Sorry, let Little me. Automata, like single cell organisms mm -hmm. to like us complicated beings. Yeah, we are more technologically advanced than animals. But like when people say like the oh, oh, oh I'm a little bit more technologically advanced than you. All the physics of the world, all the math of the world. It doesn't seem like it could describe like what we feel. There wasn't like instant romantic feelings. This guy was really like, this is in the US. Uh, awesome. This is in the US. My office lets you have your dog. Really? Damn. That's, I mean, I worked in offices like that before, but it's not as common in Brazil, for example. But I could see that developing. Yeah. Love can exert. I think, I think here, what she said is nice because he feels like, a, uh, 
how do I put this into words? He feels like maybe a boyfriend material, you know? But even if there is not that spark right off the bat, she sees potential. He's good looking, but no chance because he's not white. You th wow. Damn. Damn, why would you say that though? Guy looking good, sharp. He seems like he has a nice job. Cute dog. He guys has a lot of chance. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that at all. I wouldn't say that at all. And she even said he didn't feel a romantic spark at the beginning, but she can feel that developing. And I think is his personality that's like could conquer her, you know? So I have hopes for him. I have hopes for him. Forces like beyond the He kinda remind me a little bit of you, Tiago. Kinda a little bit. Take a screenshot of this and send to to Jesse. Just send it to Jesse. ZK say he feels ready to form a family. I think she wants to enjoy life a bit more uh, before he gets there. I don't know, because she also said that she's not into the hookup. She's looking for something more serious. So, uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. certified white girl here. I've only dated or liked men who are mixed and not white. Damn, look at that. Julia looking for that exotic. The speed of light. Your heart is a cat that you can pet anytime. That was like a really beautiful conversation. <laughs> How often are souls so aligned on those kinds of things? See, <laughs> see. Let's rank them. I don't want to rank human beings, but I'm going to. I think I might put him. What was his name? What was his name? Siobhan. Siobhan second. Josh. Bro, second. Come on. Sage third. Co coffee. Z Zayden. I feel so horrible. Omar and Christopher are probably... I don't know. I didn't really feel that kind of chemistry. It's funny. After it's been longer since I've seen the person, I think I feel less guilty about being honest. See, this is in Seattle, Washington. As you can say, I can't say what Fu says for sure is true, but I definitely met girls that only date within their own ethnicity or culture. Uh, now that ranges beyond just one culture. Yeah, so here in Toronto, for example, right, um, there are some cultures that I will avoid, but because I know their values don't match with my values. I'm going to give you an example. For some cultures, you date, and in a very short period of time, you got to be married. I don't want that. You know? So, I can't. For some culture, sex is more like something that you will do later in the relationship. And when I mean later, is like when you are together, like almost to get married. For me as a Brazilian, sex is more of a casual thing. So, there are some differences in some cultures that you cannot avoid, you know? And also, because I've had relationships with different cultures that their culture... They don't accept my culture, right? Um, so there is a little bit of uh, problems coming there too. So um, I'm going to use my ex as an example, Asian culture. For some Asian, Asian cultures, I am Brazilian, so I'm too exotic. Uh, and that for them is not good, you know? So it happens both ways, my friend. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I think full, awesome. I think you have a point, but I don't think you you using good arguments to build up your case. That's my opinion about that. I want to say this statement as she only dates white girls is accurate. Yes, yes. I, I like I said. I feel like awesome might have a point, but the arguments that he's using is not very compelling. For me, sex is something that we do right before asking their name. <laughs> I mean, it has happened before, but. Usually, I know their name first. Um, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Black women. Black women. I don't know, man. I feel like, for example, as myself, I've dated a couple black girls here. In, in, in Brazil, it's easier because everybody's mixed. But here in North America, I had a chance to date a couple black girls. And it ended more because of them than because of me. Here in North America, the black community, they really understand their culture. And because I'm not black, there is aspects of it that I don't understand. So it would be like, 
unless they're very interested, they if they're not interested enough to put some effort, you know, and try to, hey, this is how my culture works, it, it could be like a, a, a barrier in your relationship. But da ZK sent a huge text. Now with this girl, I would say due to to she already like the soccer guy, I think the attraction to his looks definitely helped with the conversation, indeed. And it feels like all the other guys are gonna be up to the bar. But she has a she has a bar. So let's see how the, that goes. Let's see how that goes. Uh pa 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 Julia being so positive here, man. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your words are so kind. But there are always girls who like to date outside of the country and their ethnicity. And that is true. That is true. Like I've dated a a fair amount of different cultures, even cultures like that I said that nowadays I avoid, I've dated. And it's all a matter of because even though you might be from that culture, it doesn't define who you are, you know? So it is good to Oh, that person is from this culture, so 100% avoid. Uh, and this is a problem with dating apps, right? If you are on a dating app and there is that person, it, it, you're going to be like, oh, this this, this ethnicity, this culture, I don't want to date that because I already have a prejudice against it, you know? And when you are in the real world, you can actually have a conversation and get to know that individual, not their, not their culture only. So... Dating in person is still the best way to go. Let's go back to the video. Welcome, Gabby. Jacob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ask him when he lost his virginity. <laughs> when did you lose your virginity? Lost my virginity freshman year of college. Other people in the friend group were just all hooking up. It was, it was just basically like tough question. Friend family for like a few months. <laughs> I've just had like, those friend groups. You know, like that big like freshman year. Like we were all like so excited to be here. I think she's vibing with him too. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think she's vibing with him. Like, yeah, we're like all so horny. Yeah, we're all so horny. <laughs> He's really cute. Aha! Ha! Ha! But she does like white guys. I mean, come on. 16, I think, like sophomore year of high school. <laughs> like we thought we'd had sex, but we had it. <laughs> what? <laughs> like it wasn't any actual like. What is this like Mormon country? What are we doing? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yes, the Mormon Church would have approved of what we did that night. Let's just say that. Oh much. my gosh! <laughs> and so then the second time it actually happened, we were like, oh. <laughs> nice. Part of me like wants to have a hoe era because I'm like I feel like it's important to like learn about what you like, but then I'm such a like romantic that like, I feel like I would just mm. fall in love with everyone. Like I'm not sure how, I, like if I need to find someone really dumb or like what the, like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? On the, like the stupid, the really stupid yeah. spectrum, where's most of the dudes you've dated so far? Yeah, today, today yeah. Fallen. I can't lie, the guy before you was really smart. We were having yeah. some smart person talks. Here we are talking about <laughs> we are other talking people. About how stupid counts, are other people? Yeah. It's really dope to like, just like, conversate and, or con conversate, <laughs> not conversate. I was about to, wow, I bumped it. <laughs> and that's what whole, I'll remember yeah, about Yeah, I had the whole spiel going, <laughs> told you the pressure's getting to me. I really enjoyed it. It was really easy to talk to him. So good to meet that's you. Nice. Good to meet you. <laughs> I think he, I think, I think he, uh, see, I was just about to say, I think he, he bumped the, the, the other nerdy guy down Thanks and he did. The number two spot. Seven dates in. How are you feeling? As I'm, you know, doing more, I'm like more easing into just being myself and not like trying to like present what they want from me, I guess. Gabby. Yeah, okay, let me ca caught up with chat a little bit. Um, Julia said, personally, I have found many Asian men very attractive. I would say I'm a pretty stereotype attractive blonde lady. I would agree with that, Julia. Uh, and this is a compliment, of course, with all due respect. You are an attractive blonde lady. Uh, Jacob looks like a douche. Is that her type? Mm, the, the, the guy who just passed by? I don't know if he looks like a... I don't know, man. I don't know man like that because I don't date men. But that guy looks all right to me. He doesn't... No one that came here... No, the, the guy with the wolf's eyes, the one with the guacamole... Maybe that guy looked more like a player to me than any other guy here. Yeah. Awesome say, if I could, I will turn gay for Daniel Day Kim. Who is Daniel Day Kim? I gotta see. I gotta see. Who is Daniel Day Kim? Hold on. 
Oh man, this face bone extracture that he has? Yes, I see, I see why. I see why. Ha! Ha! Dave Patel now, Dev Patel is. Mm. Mm. He he's a guy, yeah. He's a he's a man. He's a man, man. I wanna see his uh newest movie. I hadn't had a chance to go see Monkey Something. What's the name? Monkey Dave Patel Monkey. Monkey Man, I think. Yeah, Monkey Man. I gotta go see it. I gotta go see it. I gotta watch it. Looks fun. Da -da 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 -da. Idris Elba. Yeah, everybody knows Idris Elba. Idris Elba is a dream for every single human being. There are a few people that, like, when you talk about handsome, they come to your mind, and Idris Elba is definitely up there. Man is awesome. Man is very good looking. Anyway, let's go back to our video. Nice to meet you. I brought some materials, some supplies. If you're cool, just jumping right yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna crochet. Might still oh. be. <laughs> not, not a crochet. Oh, he's that. <laughs> Chinese finger trap. <laughs> oh. No. I think I actually got it. Or Oops, no. Nope. How are you feeling about this guy? You want to move to LA? That's like a thing of yours. I lived there while I went to college at USC. Yeah. And now I'm back home saving up money to move back, hopefully. Why though? What's um, so? Why though? Like? Yeah, I feel like I've seen so many. I don't know if it's me. Uh, see you later, Julia. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for the lurk. I don't know if it's me, but this guy gives me some feminine vibes, you know? So to me, I don't know if she would be attracted to that because the other guys that she said were attractive, they were the opposite of it. If people rush to move to LA, mm -hmm. come homeless. I think we maybe like disagreed on some stuff, which is okay. There's a lot of California drivers in Seattle this month for whatever yeah. reason. I've been cut off so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Sparks were stagnant. If you want to be like a creative in this day and age, I feel like you should master your own your own city. I have a whole like Seattle skyline tattoo on my Yo, leg. Okay. So like I'm really big into Seattle. Yeah, like I love thing. that. I don't think I felt the romantic connection per se. I, mm, I wasn't getting they vibe not vibing. They not vibing. No. Me too. I think we're good. Wow, she she sent him away like 14 minutes before the date was over. At least that's the impression that I got. Damn. Hi there, nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. I'm Gabby. He's tall. <laughs> yeah. You're a Star Wars guy? Yes, very much so. I'm a very big nerd. Okay, I'm a Star yeah. Trek girl. I am terribly unorganized, and it was starting to affect my online business. Time blocking my schedule worked for a long time. So, really? Yeah. Okay. My dad was the big Star Trek guy, so yeah. I went Star Wars. That's kind of like my form of rebellion. Yeah. Nice. Everybody kind of needs one a little bit. <laughs> a bad boy yeah. at heart. <laughs> oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> Strong with the force, you are. <laughs> I I love it if you can be so silly with your partner, uh, and this is something that definitely helped me a lot on my previous relationship. We would be so damn silly with each other. It was stupid, stupid, and I love it. Sing karaoke oh, in fun. baby talk. In baby talk. All the single ladies, all yeah. the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Put your pinkies on. <laughs> Everyone asks about body count, but I have to ask how many victory royales have you had? Way more than the body count, I'll say that. I've been playing Apex for about, I don't know, five years, and I don't know if which one I have more, though. Because I'm horrible at Apex Legends. <laughs> oh, but that was cool. Really? Maybe not. But like, could I oh, okay. myself staying up late play, playing video games with him? Maybe developing that connection? Yeah, and I like that it doesn't feel like he's someone who would like rush me to do anything before I felt ready. Thank oh, you so much. It was so, so nice much. to meet you. This is so fun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They kind of vibed. Trayvon. Who was your first love? <laughs> this is the first black person we have, right? I think so. Let's see how this is gonna go. First love, I think it was like ninth or tenth grade, one of the two, because that's when it's like, you know, I want you to meet my mom, my mm -hmm. dad, going on dates. Yeah. 
I'm asking them for money to buy her stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's so sweet. How, um, how did you know you were in love? We was together, I had to move. Mm -hmm. And when I moved, I actually got teary-eyed and cried. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it now, still not over it. <laughs> I like it. Think they're vibing, yeah. They're cute and charismatic. I made this guy out of like a shell I found. He feels, he gives me like such a, um, secure vibe you know and i think that is attractive i don't know oh, I like this. Thank you. has a he has some swag you know so kiss was with nice style as well and it was you know towards the end of relationship and things are kind of like fizzling out kisses aren't great are they yeah. <laughs> it hit different yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> in the worst yeah. way yeah, in the worst way yeah <laughs> What's like the, the craziest shit you've seen working as security? I seen a guy, like they called him like, hey man, this guy's in the bathroom, he won't leave. Mm -hmm. Like when we opened the stall, uh -huh. he was butt naked upside down with a bottle of bleach by him. Same. Same? Oh. <laughs> 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 probably uh, phone sex. <laughs> Yo, this guy, this guy's gonna be up there. This guy has a good talk. I think, I think they, they clicking, they clicking. This guy is real and not caught. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Let's see the finished bracelets. Bracelet check. What does your say? Trey. Trey. Yeah. <laughs> I liked him a lot. He was very smooth without being like intimidated, like still being down to earth. Yeah, and he. He made he made a bracelet with me and didn't make fun of me about it. <laughs> and I think that says something. It was so great meeting you. Yeah, I think she really liked him. First filmed date. <laughs> yeah. First minute. We had that like back and forth, like he was really funny and he may just be tied for that first. Oh minute. let's go! Ah. Oh, what is your no. impression of me? Ten hours to go? All in one night. Yeah, it's 24 hours straight. I work like on the flight deck. And you say like, hey, plane, like land over here. Having a nice little drink that I found. <laughs> I feel like I have like three guys up there at number one now. Nice. I would love to see you again. I hope that we can continue to enjoy each other's company for the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives, my friend, you just met her. All right, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on these first guys that we saw? Like that, the last guy, the black guy, though, like I said, the confidence, the talk, you know, the guy was smooth with his words. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing and she was there for it. Freaking loved this. I, I, the episode two is already dead. It's already out. I will do a reaction to it sometime this week. 